Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is not my first cup of coffee. I actually got up at about 2.30 this morning so that I could play, uh, finish this piece, which I love. So much fun. I uh, want to get it published and to you as soon as possible. I'm striving for Monday and Thursday public videos. Uh, so this will be released on Thursday. A few things to tell you. We do have a winner of the drawing. There were nine brass tacks in the healer, one in her heart, in the armor of her heart, and then four in each wing. Um, I showed the wings at the end, but in the beginning I pointed out the ninth tack, which I did off screen. Pretty sneaky. But anyway, V Bliss, uh, Vicky, is the winner of the purge box. I have it all ready to go. I'm going to head to the post office here after I feed dad, my dad his lunch, and we'll get that posted off to you, Vicki. So thank you so much for playing. Thank you, everyone, for playing. You guys are such good sports, uh, finding nine or eight tacks. So thanks for playing. Uh, I am working in my morning morning book uh, today with you, um, mostly the backgrounds. All right, you can do whatever you want to with the focal points. This is a transfer focal point. So very, very fun. Thank you for coming on that journey with me. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to say? V Bliss is a winner. Uh, a shout out to uh, Dina Dana and Karen and Sandy for um, sending me some goodies. Uh, thank you for those that have ordered some masks. I have more fabric I expected to be here today or tomorrow, so if you've ordered one and you haven't gotten it yet, you will get it soon. Um, I have a couple of traveling collages heading out today, so busy day, busy morning, busy life, and today that's good. So uh, I think that's all that I have to say. I always feel like I have so much to tell you. Then I get on the screen and it's like, whoa, what was I going to say? So, anyway, see you on the table. I want to do a special shout out to Karen for all the goodies that she sent. She sent a journal and some tea bags and some ephemera and lots of goodies. And Dina Dana, I actually use a piece that she sent me. Uh, she sent me a couple of, well, a whole bunch of ephemera and goodies and birthday box and she's amazing. So this is from Sandy. I just want to share this with you. Here's the box, all rusted. But look at this. This is a, a necklace that she made. And it's a little, a little book. Look at that. All those little pages. Oh my goodness. And I think it's a Coptic binding. And it's a different technique than what I am accustomed to doing, so I really need to um, explore how she did that, because I really like it. And then she sent me, um, get in there. Rest in peace, my amazing Cameron. Rest in love. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then she sent this little uh, tin box <laughs> full of goodies for me to embellish the pages with. So that was an amazing gift in honor of my camera. So I wanted to share that with you. Well, here's your project for today. This is in my morning morning pages. Uh, fun background with gesso and acrylics dragging some spray alcohol. This is a transfer. It's an image from uh, National Geographic and I increased it by 150 percent. These are some village pieces from Dina Dana. Thank you. And uh, my world is upside down. That's my morning morning page. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Yes, my dad is still asleep. I'm going to work on two pages at the same time. Here's a stack of fun stuff that I got from Dina Dana. I'm going to go ahead and use this as underpants. I'm going to leave some of the music showing. So I'm going to 
just rip up some of this fun stuff. Put down some underpants on both pages. I'll paint both pages with gesso and then mush them together. I'm going to mush these pages together. let that dry. I want some more texture here so I'm just gonna bring that in. Now I'm gonna let it dry. Good morning everyone. Still a sleeping house here. I'm going to bring in some acrylic paint. This is all dry and beautiful texture. I'm going to bring in the varnish. I'm using the varnish to dilute the paint some instead of water. And we'll let this dry. When that's dry, I'm going to take my sand, uh, my 60 grit sandpaper and sand it down. Bring in some ochre acrylic paint and the varnish. Now the varnish will um, dilute the paint but not affect the integrity or the intensity of the color. So I'll add some varnish. Might have too much paint but I'm okay with that. We'll figure that out. Bring in my card. Hmm. Mush that around and drag it down the page. No, that's good. And we'll let that dry. I'm just going to smear some of the leftover paint on this page just to not waste my precious ochre paint. In fact, I'm going to drag some of this off and put that over there. <laughs> Bring in some purplish magenta color. Water that down, get it nice and juicy. I'm going to spritz some alcohol on it so I want it to be nice and wet. We're going for it. And I have a spray bottle with some 91% alcohol in it. Let's just see what happens. Mm -hmm. And we'll let that dry. Good morning, coffee in hand, taking just
just a couple minutes here. The house is quiet. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's way too shiny for this girl. So I'm going to bring in some sandpaper and just knock the shine down a little bit. It's beautiful, though. It's been a while since we've played with the palette knife. So let's have a little bit of fun with the palette knife. Got some beautiful edges and seams in here. Gorgeous. All right, let's let it dry. Okay, good morning. Dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California. First cup of coffee nearly gone. Oh, this is a page I tore out of National Geographic. I think she's gorgeous. So I increased her by 150% and I'm going to cut this out, just what I want to keep. She's magnificent. So I'm going to put one layer of Mod Podge on her and let her dry. I'm going to bring in my white gesso, my favorite stencil, a makeup pad. going to put some gesso on. All right, let's see. That's gorgeous. All right, we're going to let that dry. Bring in some black gesso and a gift card or credit card. Just make some markings. And we'll let that dry. All right, everything's dry. I'm going to put another coat of Mod Podge on her. She is gorgeous. Turn her over. Put her in place. And massage her down to the best of my ability. So there's no air bubbles. In my massaging down, I ripped some of it off. And I'm okay with that. We're just going to go forward. While that's drying, because I can barely keep my fingers off it, I'm going to put uh, these cityscapes up at the top. And I believe these were a gift from Dina Dana. She sent me a box of goodies and so did Karen. Thank you for that. dry. Alright, it's nice and warm. If it's cold, that means that the Mod Podge is not dry yet. So, hopefully that'll be dry enough. 
going to add a little bit of water and start rubbing off the paper. Good morning. Transfer is all done. All of the paper is off. You can tell that when the paper is off because it's very, very smooth. So now I'm going to put my words on. My words are on. I'm going to take a little bit of paint. And some water. And just tone those words down a little bit. Bring in a white pen and just redefine those dots. I'm going to bring in my stabilo and just darken the edge of these letters. piece around and do the same thing on the top. I don't want to cover too much of the letters so I'm just kind of pushing it out. Yum! And along the edge. As usual, I am grabbing five minutes here and five minutes there. So I'm just going to come back and stabilo around the edge. I'm not going to stabilo the village. I love the um, sharp contrast of the edges there. So I'm going to leave that just stark like that. And we are going to call that complete. Love her. My world is upside down. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun. Okay, one more thing. I have this glossy accents. It's kind of kind of hard, but that's okay. I'm going to give her a couple of dots of this glossy accent. creating some tears. I've been crying for a couple of days. Usually it's not this thick, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. We can make that work. So, oh yeah. So those will be kind of glossy and shiny. All right, now she's done. Go create, go play, Go have fun.